Oh shit, man! Look at all this shit that I got. I got like nine whole ass brand new shoes that I really want to do this with. So let's get started. All right, welcome back. Uh, this is something that I've been wanting to do. I know you can't see my face, um, but the whole point really is to kind of show these off and to show, uh, like like I previously mentioned, I want to lace up uh, shoes while talking about some things. And today is one of those days, okay? Um, especially since there were some things that have happened in the last few weeks that I'm really excited about and I really want to talk about them and uh, lacing up sneakers uh, especially brand new ones is a uh, kind of uh, you know in a sense like a therapy session for me in a, in a sense while listening to music or even doing something like this so really the main focus is this not so much me but um, you know I really want to have fun with this a little bit um, but also show you guys I'm now I'm not gonna fancy them up too hard, you know, I'm trying to really get them in the center. I'm not trying to fancy them too much. I'm not really gonna do any fancy uh, lacing up thing on them. Like the, I think, what was it, like the cause thing or whatever on Yeezys or even on some Jordans that I've seen before. Um, or some shit like that. It was a different style of lacing up Jordans and, and Yeezys. But I myself, I'm gonna keep it simple. All I'm doing is to try to get the laces as even as I possibly can on these joints. So, but before then, if you remember previously in my uh, other video that I just did, this is a part of a shoe that I showed off, which is the Burgundy 9060s in the previous video. This is the rest of the order right here. These two over here are for are from the previous uh, are from the previous are from the rest of the end order that I made with these ones over here. So I'm gonna unbox these first and then show these two off right after right after that. So here we go this thing up check that out burgundy 9060s these are really pretty like i said these are absolutely fucking gnarly i love these joints so so much it turned out so amazing and uh like i said i also uh did previously a dtlr uh, review because i ended up getting the green pair of these uh through dtlr uh because and still wasn't putting them on sale nor did they have them in general so i had really no choice but to start looking and uh, originally, I wanted to get them through Hibbets because I had a $20 discount. Uh, unfortunately, though, as soon as I got that discount, they fucking sold out. So I had no other choice but to look somewhere else. And thankfully, DTLR had the green pair that I showed off in the previous video. But here they are. Burgundy colorway, as you can see. Absolutely fucking gorgeous. These are so pretty. I don't know how exactly I'm going to do these kind of kinds of videos because at the same time... I don't have a lot of uh, time in between the week to really do what I want to do, which is kind of show them off while on feet and all that shit after I lace them all up. But one final look before I move on to the next ones. Absolutely gorgeous shoe, man. This is absolutely gnarly. Okay, so now for the ones that you guys did not see, this is part of the rest of the end order that I uh, got with those ones as well with the burgundies. As you can kind of see what they probably already are, you see on the side. There, I'm really excited about these, by the way. You know, when I first opened these up, you know, I really wanted to unbox these all together, these three. But um, I wanted to do a video with it. But at the time, I could not really do very well with setting up the camera and the microphone that I have right now. So now is the perfect time. I still love these. I still get a pretty cool reaction out of it. You know, some because they, they turned out beautifully. I mean, I'm surprised they didn't sell out as quickly as I thought they would. Uh, they released last year. And um, enough talk. Let's see them. Three, two, one. The Air Jordan 2 Low, U and C, baby. Look at that. These are absolutely fucking gorgeous. They turned out absolutely beautiful. Look at that, man. Absolutely gorgeous. I also love the box, too, by the way. The box is something brand new for my collection because I have not had a box like this at all yet. So I was also very excited to get a box like this. It's definitely a, a different take on all the rest of the Jordan boxes that we previously have gotten and check those out right there air Jordan too low unc's these are absolutely beautiful now one thing i will go ahead and throw up these are um jordans that mj did wear on the court it was uh during already his uh pro years he was uh playing at a alumni game back in unc and uh they're on his feet i'll put up a picture uh right now to show off that he did wear these now i believe this counts because of the official name in, in a sense 
uh, just like for example the Air Jordan 4 UNC the Air Jordan 3 UNC Air Jordan 1 UNC the Air Jordan 5 UNC and I believe I'm missing maybe one more but I think Air Jordan 2 UNC maybe I'm leaving off that list a little bit but I have already have it in hand so I'm trying to think to see what else there might be but I believe that's all of them and this is currently I, I currently have the Air Jordan 4 UNC 2 UNC and the 6 yeah the 6 the 6 is what I forgot the 6 the Air Jordan 6 UNC completely forgot about those um, I have those three so I have these the sixes and the fours and the fives I have the fives Jesus Christ I'm forgetting a lot of them. I have literally four pairs of UNC's now if you don't know the story behind the UNC collections basically they're taking college PE inspired uh, shoes which uh, I obviously know UNC is sponsored by Jordan brand and uh, they get their own special shoes that are exclusively made for them so in this case though this was brought back all the way back from i believe this was what like 1988 89 some shit like that when we went to go back or probably sooner than that maybe 86 some shit like that when he went to go back to uh unc for that alumni game but um uh, yeah no this is uh this is dope this is they turned out absolutely beautiful i mean not the greatest quality but uh definitely better than most jordans that dropped last year uh, and also, these did drop last year. The, I just barely got them, and they were on sale, and I said, screw it. I really wanted them when I first saw them. I really, really wanted them, but uh, I couldn't. At, I, I just couldn't decide at the time, and I couldn't really at, at the time either because, like I mentioned before, we had a situation last year with Denny B. But anyways, one final look before we finally kick these off for now before uh, I bring them back in for a lace-up. But check them out. They're so good. I love how they didn't even lace them up like that. Like I'm so glad because it saved me a little bit of time with these. So these are absolutely gorgeous. And also look at the tongue, man. Look at that. That shit is fucking fire. I love that Wings logo like that, man. A lot of people hate on twos, but to me, they're pretty dope. I probably should have saved the twos for last, but these, in my opinion, are definitely different for me. And I was really excited about these. Uh, I love the 9060s, but these right here... I had been eyeballing, I want to say even before, may, may, no, maybe a little bit after both of these, the green and the burgundy colorway of the 9060 drop, but these ones right here, check them out. New Balance 2002R Sandstone, baby, check them out. Now these, I really do love a lot. Now, for the simple fact that, check out that material, how it just like starts, they, they kind of made it look like it's uh, being ripped off or torn off. And, um, and it's very lightweight, very lightweight shoe, um, whole different bunch of materials. You got suede, you got new buck suede, uh, you got regular kind of like hairy suede on the back right here on this heel tab, or I mean on the heel part, I mean, and, uh, let's see, you also got this like nylon material here in between on some of the shoe. Now, the one thing I do hate about the shoe, at least with this particular pair, um, I don't think they all turned out like this, but. If you kind of see this one kind of has already like a crease to it i don't know if maybe somebody decided to wear it or maybe it was something off of their store floor maybe it's just like that maybe it, it hasn't been worn because it doesn't smell worn at all it doesn't really look worn at all either i don't know what about you what, what do you think about that i mean does that look really you know worn to you because to me it really doesn't but i could be wrong yet again i i, I don't know but it it does look clean to me though uh regardless but definitely a shoe that uh, I have been eyeballing for a minute. Now, something that I did mention in my previous video, I believe New Balance is absolutely fucking killing it in the sneaker game because we had what? Uh, so far this year, we had some, I believe, some Joe Fresh Goods drop so far this year. And then now we're going to get some uh, Jound uh, New Balances dropping here very, very soon. And I'm really excited about that. I'm trying to get those really for like resale purposes. I know that sounds crazy to say. But um, I, I really do want to get a pair just to resell those. Those, those are really dope. Um, I, and just to have them in hand to, to really feel the difference of materials between New Balances like Jound and things like this. Because this right here, this has some really high-end quality material right here. Like these are absolutely, this suede is just absolutely fucking soft, man. It's absolutely beautiful. The other thing too I like about this shoe is the way that the tongue was made. I don't know if I could really show that off, but that tongue was made so beautifully i mean it's got the same effect as like some of these pieces right here where it's just like 
it looks like it's being torn away or something like that but i'm gonna give one final look before we start lacing up all these joints right here so check them out man i really do love these joints um also i really don't know how i'm gonna go about this because since these laces are a little bit more like stretchier i don't know if i'm gonna go ahead and put this back down somewhere right here where i do with like my sixes and um and the fives as well uh with that like little plastic piece that they got but we'll we'll see we're, we're about to find out here pretty soon what i'll what i'll do all right i take off my long sleeve shirt because it was starting to get a little bit hot but the first ones i'm gonna lace up these burgundies and uh finally i'm gonna talk about what i've been really excited about to tell you guys so i want to say like a couple weeks ago or so um and by the way i don't know if i really will lace up both of them i i don't know if we have enough time for that it's gonna be a long ass video so we'll see i'll probably just do one and then uh, I'll rate, lace up the other one just to save a little bit of time. We'll see how I go about it. But like I was saying, uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, more like maybe what, a couple months ago maybe, um, I heard about Samsung finally releasing their new phone. Now, what I didn't know if there was a new one that just released previously last year, because I know my buddy uh, in the military, he got a S23 Ultra. Or I, I think either an Ultra or just a regular S23, which I thought pretty dope, right? I mean, I, I love Samsung Galaxy phones. I'm an Android person. This is what I'm recording with right now is an S21 uh, FE. Now, I thought to myself, if I do get a new phone, that's what I'm going to start recording with. And um, and like I mentioned previously, I started doing like a little bit of uh, edits here and there on uh, Instagram and uh, and also TikTok. I don't know if you guys follow me on there, but... If you do, you have noticed that I did upload a small little edit of Kansas City uh, last year um, at night because I really want to show off what it was like uh, the nightlife in Kansas City because to me, Kansas City is a really beautiful city. I always thought that, uh, and I still think to this, I really do want to live in KC uh, one day. I, re I really do want to live in KC, but um, we'll see <laughs> how things pan out. By the way, yes, that was me scratching my nuts because chafing boy hey yo what the fuck the way i go about this is simply the whole like um this side will go underneath and this side will go over and uh the main thing too let me stand up I'm trying to match these as much as i possibly can in terms of length i know you guys can't see it but i mean just trying to you know do the least amount because at the same time i i don't really know how i'm gonna perfect this um i just messed that up but it's this side I know YouTube's probably gonna get mad as fuck about me mentioning that, but you know, you chafe, you chafe, my boy, you know what I'm saying? There we go, we're getting closer, we're getting a tad bit closer. I know you guys can't see what I'm, I'm trying to do here, but I'm sure you guys get the idea. I'm trying to match them up as much as I can in terms of like, fuck, messing this up. Actually, I thought of something for a second. I'll keep this in the picture a little bit to kind of really show off the shoe at the same time, but still trying to figure out the length of this properly, so. I think I might have it right here. Yep, there we go. Okay, so like I was saying, so I told myself if I do think about getting a new phone, I will end up recording with a much more higher quality phone, which I really want to do for these kinds of videos to really show off the shoes and all that. Um, so I give it a lot of thought, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, oh, well, I already did. I uh, ended up pre-ordering the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. I'm very, very excited about it. I cannot wait to get that son of a bitch. Um, it's been something that I've been wanting to do for years. And I mean fucking years. I've not had a current Samsung Galaxy S phone in years, man. Like, I have not had one. Uh, I want to say, like, the, the last current one that I had really was all the way in uh, back when the Galaxy S4 uh, dropped and all that. I remember we, me, my mom, and my brother, and I was still a kid at the time, so I really couldn't decide anything so i ended up getting that phone as well and i was okay with it because i really did like the phone um now me being a responsible irresponsible little fuck i ended up doing the worst to it which what i mean by that is i ended up absolutely fucking dumping it in water at a uh, pool party that i was at um at one of my friends place and absolutely destroying the phone like a dumb fuck and I was so pissed off at myself for doing that after a while. You know, even though I didn't buy the phone, it didn't really hit. The realization of me being an idiot didn't really hit until like days later. Like how stupid that was. 
I just really want to show off that I got a new phone and it can handle like underwater and this and that and in reality it was fucking stupid. I'm retarded. So what I like to do is like if you see that little middle piece that holds the laces right there. Um, I like to also kind of match it with the way that the other shoe is so you know it, it has the right adjustments and all that stuff so but yeah all the way back then I had an s24 ruined it because I'm a dumbass and um, I really I really did regret uh, doing that shit um, it was so so fucking stupid I really don't know why I thought it was a good idea to uh, dump that fucking phone in the water I just don't know why I did it. I, I, ne I never would do that with fucking video game controllers or anything like that look or I would do anything super stupid with game controllers besides fucking tossing them when I'm playing Call of Duty or Halo for that matter because fucking games are piece of shit. But yeah, no, an S24 down the drain, brand new. Uh, it did, it was with me for a couple months for sure. Like I think I had it for longer than like four or five months, some shit like that. And then out of the blue, I just went over to a fucking... Um, party and decided to do that shit it was the dumbest fucking thing i ever did in my life with at least a brand new phone but yeah right now is samsung galaxy s24 ultra i'm really excited about it because i've been wanting a new phone for a hot minute really really excited about that phone looking forward to it a lot uh right now i think my delivery time for it is going to be until like february 21st some shit like that and um i'm looking forward to it i'm really excited about it i, I can't wait for it and there we go. These are finally laced up. Now, like I said, I don't know if I will take these out and go ahead and put them on feet to record footage for them. Don't know yet, but that's what they look like right there. Nothing too fancy, like I said, it's the standard lacing up. You know, it's just a way to kind of get my mind going on to some other things. And what I like to do, and I usually do this, actually, I'm gonna leave that alone, actually, I'm not gonna do that. But this is what they look like before and after. Not much of a difference, obviously, like I said, nothing fancy, you know, just trying to get them a little bit cleaned up and all that. Uh, get them ready for whenever I do want to rock them, because I know one day, um, I remember this vividly, I wanted to rock some new heat to a car show that I was sending out to in KC, and I fucking had no heat to wear because, well, I had heat to wear, but um, the brand new stuff that I wanted to rock, I couldn't because I hadn't laced it up yet, so I'm trying to do this ahead of time before. I regret it later. On to the next shoe. Man, I really do love how these UNC2s turned out, man. They're absolutely fucking fire, man. I fucking love them. Uh, I really don't understand the hate for uh, UN, uh, for twos in general. Like, I, I guess to an extent I do because I'm not even a major fan of the, of the two in general. At the same time, I don't really hate the shoe. I don't hate the shoe. I don't dislike it, but you know, I, you know, it's just, it, I mean, some of the colorways are fire. Some of them are not so fire. I mean, this one is definitely, I mean, come on. I mean, how are you not going to wear that in the summer? These are absolutely fucking fire. Uh, I do like the um, chrome. I, I think they're called chrome. The chrome twos, I believe, is what they're called or something like that. Silver, silver twos. Um, I like those a lot. And I'm throwing up pictures probably after, uh, while editing this shit, but... I think if they're chrome two, silver two, whatever they're called, they're black and they're black and chrome or black and silver, some shit like that. And then I also really do like um, the infrared twos. Those are absolutely fucking fire. I love the infrared twos. Those are absolutely gorgeous. All right, let me go ahead and tie these. Not tie these up, but um, match these up as much as I can. A little bit shorter on this other side. Let's see about that. Maybe that might be good. Hold on, what the fuck? All right, there we go. Got these same length and all this shit. So it's time to sit back down, lace these drones up. Okay, so like I was saying, colorways of the two, right? I love infrared twos. I love chrome twos or silver twos, whatever the fuck they're called. Um, there's also some other twos. I do like the Chicago ones I dropped. I think, what was it, last year or the year before? Some shit like that. Um, I absolutely love those joints. They they were definitely gorgeous. Now, did I cop a pair? I did not. Some because um, I don't know. I mean, I'm just the crazy person in me. But when I smelled the shoe on the inside, it already smelled really rough. Like nobody had worn it. It's that smell 
that is basically it, it's a brand new smell but it to me it smells really weird so i ended up not copying it for that reason i probably should have because i really did like it but um i just something about that smell really did not uh, resonate well with me so kind of stayed away from it i know that's shitty to do but i just i didn't know what to um i didn't know what the fuck to really do did they forget to put the holes in these shits no way or is this how the shoe's supposed to go no way is that how it's supposed to be no la no lace holes and like on the inside does that really go like that i didn't know i didn't know like i said i've never <laughs> had it to ever what the fuck that's weird give me one second i'm gonna i never knew that hold on give me one second okay so i guess yeah they i didn't know that for the longest time i didn't know twos didn't come with lace holes on the inside like that that's that's crazy so i guess just use these lace eyelids i guess over here fuck that's that's crazy yeah i didn't know i didn't know for the longest time these motherfuckers had no lace holes down behind these things right these these that, that's just crazy i never knew that <laughs> that's awesome okay as i was saying uh jordan twos right so for me jordan twos are not the greatest they're not the best looking twos their uh, shoe within the jordan the air jordan lineup and all that shit uh, I believe even there was a story, I believe, that um, um, that MJ almost left Nike because this motherfucker came out and he did not like it whatsoever. So I heard he was about to leave uh, Nike for, I believe, Adidas or something like that. Or I think it was just up in the air that he was going to be leaving. And, you know, I guess the good old Air Jordan 3 saved uh, Nike from... Uh, from absolute fucking oblivion, you know, because there's no doubt, no doubt about it in my mind. I think Nike would have suffered for sure. I mean, they they already were struggling with their uh, running shoes, which not to say that you know people don't run, but you know, I mean, uh, it definitely would have uh, hurt them a little bit as a as a company for sure. But I mean, to me, like I said, Jordan Twos, not that bad, not the greatest, but not that bad kind of mess these up a little bit i'm trying to so one thing i don't like doing is having the laces like like this is kind of messed up a little bit right here i don't know if you can tell it's like kind of squished in there a little bit um i know it's kind of hard to tell with the the camera but it's like a little bit folded a little bit i don't know why exactly but i mean i'm trying to figure out how to prevent the folding from carrying on onto the next hole over here all right, there we go. Kind of figured it out. It's still kind of doing this shit, but it's going. And these only have one hole at the very top, so kind of easier to decide than what the New Balance had. The New Balance has had two uh, lace eyelids at the very top, which I don't mind, but it's kind of confusing a little bit because I don't know which one is the most comfortable for it. You know what I mean? And there we go. Check that out. Finally got these done. Uh, obviously all the all the way done, but uh, these will do for now uh, Let's see cuz it look 10 minutes. No 19 minutes. I believe <laughs> has gone into this video, which is crazy, but check that out. There we go Laced and unlaced right there. I really do love the way that this shoe looks man. It, it really did turn out very very beautiful man I I just don't understand the hate so much. I mean at the same time like I know this is my only pair of twos But I really do want to see like the infrared force uh, infrared twos come back I want to see the Chrome 2s come back. Uh, I definitely want to see other OG colorways of the the 2 come back for sure. I definitely want to see if I can cop my pair of the Air Jordan 2 Chicago's, but we'll see if I can even find them anymore. One final look before I finally switch off to the next shoe. This is going to be a great summer shoe, man. This is absolutely gorgeous. Last and final shoe, then I'm going to lace up. Okay, so I don't know how I'm going to go with these ones exactly, but... We'll see how I pull it off a little bit. Let me adjust this one a tad bit to really give it that look, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, with these laces, I these are definitely going to be a little bit tougher. I mean, it's definitely not a uh, not a more simple shoe like uh, Jordans and all that shit and Nikes, but I'll figure this out real quick what I want to do with it. Now, I know that uh, I talked about getting that phone, which I'm really excited about. Now, one thing I do want to mention as we're here right now, I will switch on to that one. Uh, I'm pretty sure I already uh, said that, but I'm definitely gonna be recording with that phone from now on after I get it. So hopefully the quality of these videos turns out a lot more better. I'm happy with the quality that I got now, but uh, I definitely wanna see a little bit more 
um, improvement, you know, on it, which uh, so far I've been getting some pretty good views on my videos recently. So I'm really excited about that. And I feel like if I go with a new improved camera, it'll definitely help out a little bit better. So I'm looking forward to that. But enough about the phone. This one's going to be a little bit easier. I don't have to stand. This one's not as long as the other ones. But enough about the phone. Something I really also am excited to talk to you guys about, which I promised that the next video I made was going to be about it. But things kind of changed because I really want to talk about the phone um, because that's also going to be used in car videos as well. So my WRX, I really said that all sorts of fucking wrong. My WRX, I finally paid that bitch off. It's finally um, no longer an expense in terms of like a monthly expense of having to pay it off or some shit like that. That thing was like 7K and I had, I think like I bought it at like 160K miles, some shit like that. I bought it at like 160 something miles um 167,000 miles some shit like that 165 and so far it's been good to me however it's definitely had its major issues no doubt about it has it been reliable absolutely still i mean if it as long as it's driving and all that stuff i'm okay i mean it's definitely reliable it has not done anything too bad to me under my ownership and i know the previous owner though uh, i believe they did blow a tranny on it so they, I'm pretty sure they blew a tranny or they blew a head gasket, some shit like that. Because I know when I bought it off of the guy that, who I bought it off of, he told me that it had a, um, um, uh, I don't think it was a, uh, um, I can't fucking remember what it was. Like, uh, um, I forgot the term for it. I'm trying, I'm trying to think about it. I, I don't think it was wrecked previously. I think it was just simply like a, a rebuild, some shit like that, rebuild title or whatever. Um, it was a rebuilt uh fucking motor because it was blown to fucking smithereens but to me so far it's been treating me good couldn't be more happier the way my car turned out and uh right now i did make some small time maintenance to it uh recently uh which i'll show off later down the road actually well i mean don't really want to keep you guys waiting because i should be making a video soon but i don't know when i, I really don't know when about it um it should be the next video, okay? Hopefully, hopefully I come through with my promise. It should be the next video because, like I said, I mean, I've been wanting to show off that car for a hot minute now. But um, no mods have been done to it yet. Don't want to do that yet. I'm trying to baby it as much as I can. As a matter of fact, I really am trying to um, get a new car instead because if I'm going to mod that one, I want to have a backup plan before I fucking absolutely destroy the Subaru. Or, uh, or it destroys me, one of the two. But regardless though, really excited about that car. Actually, this might work. So I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna put this lace lock at a which point because I really do wanna make this look absolutely nice. So we'll see. Okay, I don't know if this will work, but this apparently at this point, that's where it's at. So I might be able to make this work, I don't know. These are a little bit more difficult uh fucking laces to work with so and plus not as easy since this is both front and back instead of side to side like the railer jordan sixes or the fives as well so Let's see if we'll, we can make something work here oh there we go yes sir don't know if that really is gonna work but we can certainly try a little bit worried right now because i don't know exactly Huh. I realize now where I messed up for fuck's sake. Okay, hold on. Or no, I think this is correct. I don't know, man. Fuck. God damn, I'm fucking trying to figure out how I'm going to go about this and I just can't figure it out. <gasps> okay, I think I might have figured out something here, but it doesn't look very promising. Oh, shit. Okay, so I'm just going to stick with this shit because I don't know what else I could do. To really salvage this or at least right now so for the sake of the video we're gonna have a little mini, mini hiccup right there so let's go for it why not let's fuck it let's just go with the flow anyways back to what i was saying uh my car so that thing has been prone to some issues and uh, i like i said i did some light maintenance on it nothing too crazy nothing too uh serious oh there we go okay now i see okay there we go I was trying to figure this part out 
just couldn't do it but now i did but like i was saying so uh my car right like i said little maintenance uh what was missing on it was one of the uh the little mini lights on the um on the headlights was uh, missing it's the orange one and i finally got that fixed and replaced um it was just simple uh, bulb replacement, nothing too difficult. Now, I say that, but I ended up having to use a tutorial because my dumbass forgot how to do that shit fucking months ago. Uh, I had already had done it on the one on the left side, and I had to do it on the right side this time around. So, fun times. Um, let's see what else. Um, I also had to replace another bulb in the back of the car. I want to say... Um, let me see. I, th I think I want to say like it was the also... The right side on the back, well, one of the bulbs in the tail light went out, so I had to replace that. And then my windshield wipers too, uh, they also were not doing me any favors whatsoever, so I decided to get those replaced. And then I think that's about it. I know I got the oil change done on it not too long ago, so uh, right now it's still going strong. I think right now we're sitting at like 196, 97,000 miles, something like that. So it's about hit 200k on the body. And overall everything like just overall it's about a hit 200k I well technically not the motor I'd say either that either they replaced it or they just fucking rebuilt it like I said I don't know if they truly rebuilt it or they bought a whole new, new motor I'm pretty sure they rebuilt it though because it looks pretty pretty stingy so uh, but anyways here we go finally shoes laced up I mean I don't know what is how does that look to you guys I mean I don't I like it but I really wish that the New Balance logo was facing forward because right now it's facing like you could probably kind of see it. it's facing like that as you can see the red text on there of there of that lace lock yeah it's not really facing the way that i want to but it'll do for now i mean i'll end up working on these again probably sometime later this week so but yeah here we go one final look of everything else before i finally go okay so there we go all of my shoes at least the left shoe of the pairs are all laced up and ready to go i'm going to get to the right pair here very very soon on each of these uh turned out very very beautiful very very happy the way i did them uh like i said they're nothing too fancy i don't do anything special on them uh now this one might be a bit different i'm not for sure how i might go about this am i going to redo this video for it no absolutely not because it's already at like 34 minutes before i start editing everything but um it'll definitely be shorter than that but anyways there we go. All the shoes are laced up. Let's see if we get all three laced up, ready to go. At least the left shoe. I'm about to get started on the right shoe. Like I said, don't know if I'm going to do the whole like put on feet sort of situation for these yet. Um, we'll see what I decide in the next few days. I uh, don't have a lot of time in the week to do it except for the day that I don't go into work the very next day. So like Wednesday, I believe I might have time to do it, but we'll see how I go about this. You you guys will figure out once, you, you guys will finally see once I get this all edited. But anyways, that's it for right there. Hope you guys enjoyed one final look of each of the shoes before I head out. 9060 Burgundies, Air Jordan 2 UNCs, absolutely beautiful summer shoe right there. And then New Balance 2002 R Sandstones. These are absolutely beautiful, man. All these shoes, are fucking beautiful man they all turned out absolutely gorgeous but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video um i'll definitely be doing more of these hope you guys enjoyed this kind of content i mean i know it's a long ass video but i mean trying to you know do different things so hopefully you guys enjoyed but anyways like i said hope you guys enjoyed have a good one stay safe and uh you guys will definitely see more of these later down the road peace out